Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my favorite little makeup items. So I have a couple of items because I want to show you my favorite makeups because I like a lot of makeup and I have so much of it. So I picked out my ultimate favorite products and I decided to show them for you guys. So enjoy this video. So I got a, about six products and so I'm going to go through them. So first one that I picked up is the Voluminous Butterfly um, in Intensa Mascara and... I don't know, does it say who it's from? No, but it's going to be colored black. It's black. And the top is um, different colored. I have, I love the butterfly mascaras. And I had the, just the, uh, this is the new one. I had the, this, the one that didn't have the black. And then I have the one with the blue stripes, which says it's waterproof. It's in my drawer, but I'm just going to talk about this one. So this one has a different brush than the other ones. This brush is styled differently. It has, um, the, it just is here. So this is the, the older one. And if you look at the difference between, so this is the older one. This is the newer one. You can tell that there's a difference of how they are, were made. So, but yeah. Okay, so my next thing is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Telescopic Liquid Liner. Um, so this is basically what it looks like and it's just, I just like the tip on it because I find that some are either, the tips are either too thick or too, way too thin that they're just like really hard to control. But I like this because the way it is, is it's actually not like a flimsy paintbrush. It's actually like hard like it's it's like um a little harder than a sponge and so it's a lot easier to put it on and so I'm not flimsing everywhere with my eyeliner and it just gets everywhere but I do find that when it gets low it tends to start fading when you're wearing it but right once you get it it stays like bull black but when like mine's starting to run out so once I put it on, it starts to fade, but it dries really quickly. So you don't have to, like, care about, like, as you open your eyes right away, you might get a little bit, but it's not going to, like, leave a giant smudge because most of it is probably already dry by then. Um, my next favorite one is the Nudes Maybelline Palette, which I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos. And it just has very nice colors, and, like, I use this color to fill in my eyebrows, which isn't really my eyebrow color, but whatever. I just really like the colors in this. Some of them, um, because I have really oily eyelids, it tends to just, like, slip right off my eyelid. But, you know, I figured out and I mastered how to not get that to happen. But I really like this palette. And it's, like, I really wanted the Naked palette, but, you know, that was, it's really expensive. Um, so I got this one for Christmas and it's basically the same. It has like the shiny and just the matte colors and then it stays on for a really good amount of time. Like I had it on earlier. And um, the only thing I don't like is because my eyelids are tinted darker color, um, putting on the shades like um, this gold or the white or the silvery brownie color over here. It just doesn't show up on my eyelids that much, but I really like all the dark browns. My favorite brown colors are these two, this dark one, and then this more of an orangey one. My favorite one. Um, next is the Stay Matte um, Face Powder. It is 004 Sandstorm, and it is from L Rimmel London. Um, I only like Rimmel London when it comes to certain things, but I love their powder. It's like, I was watching Zoella, if anybody of you guys know her, um, I was watching her video and she ended up, she actually have, has this power too and recommends it for people. And so I had, like had it already, but like, I was like, it's cool though. <laughs> and I just have this QUO powder puff thing for my face. I call it a powder puff. I don't know what it's actually called. Anyways, I use that for my face, but I usually use a brush. 
But if I really want to pack it on, I'll use this. But if I want to just like a wet, light uh, sweep over, I'll just use it. And it really, like, it's really good. Like, it makes your, it doesn't make your skin very oily looking. It just like really mats it down. But you have to be careful on how much you're going to put on because your face will either look normal or matte. So, next is the Rimmel London Hide the Blemish Concealer in 001 Ivory. Um, this is really low. It's like literally at the last bit, but I really like this because it's really light compared to my skin tone and it stays on and r I found right when I got it as like it looks like a little lipstick when you first get it, but right when I got it, it was kind of hard to smudge, but as it like got a little bit older, it's now really easy to like smudge into your hand and stuff and so it's good for like your under eyes or like if you have any red spots. Um, and my last but certainly, certainly not least is my Revlon Photoshop Ready Airbrush Effect Makeup. It's, it's 001 Ivory also, but this is just a darker tint. This one's it's a lot paler, as you can probably tell, but, um, yeah, this one's more pale, but, you know, I really like this because it doesn't, um, like, if you, if I put it on my face, it doesn't give me a very pinky tone, but if I put it on my hand, for instance, it will, but I really like this because it's really easy to blend and it really hides anything because my skin tone isn't very even, I'm not wearing any makeup, but my skin tone is, it's red right here, and it's like, gives me a natural blush, but it's darker on this side, then it is, this is more pink, this is like red, and so when I put blush on, this one's a nice pinky color, and then this one's red, and then it just doesn't work, so this really helps me cover it up, and it kind of like sometimes makes my face look fake, which I don't really like going for that look, because I don't want to look fake, but you know, it does the job it needs to do, and it is fantastic. So yeah. Anyways, so thanks for watching this video, and I hope you guys all enjoyed. Sorry that it was pretty long, six minutes, seven, I don't know. But anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget that my Instagram, Vine, and Twitter is somewhere right here, and it's also going to be down in the description. So if you're not subscribed, definitely click that button and join our club join our club and um, click that like button if you enjoyed looking at my uh, favorite makeup products and comment anything you want because I love to see your guys' things that you write in the comments. Perfect description. Like, hmm, perfect. So yeah, love you guys so, 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 so much and bye.